Hello, in this video tutorial we're going to be covering the Windows Internet Naming Service, or WINS. So let's first define what WINS is. WINS is the Microsoft implementation of the NetBIOS Name Service, or NBNS. It provides a central mapping of NetBIOS names to IP addresses, very similar to DNS. It's comprised of two parts, which is a server, and you have the WINS client. And the primary goal for WINS is to perform NetBIOS name resolution. On a network that requires NetBIOS name resolution, you would normally implement at least two WINS servers. WINS clients on the network use the WINS servers to resolve NetBIOS names to IP addresses. When a WINS client needs to resolve a NetBIOS name, rather than sending a broadcast packet message on the local network, it will query a WINS server to resolve a name to an IP address. In this example, you have three computers on the local network. For instance, Workstation 1, when powered on or added to the network, it will register its name and IP address with a WINS server. The WINS server that accepts this registration will replicate that information with the other WINS server on the network. When Workstation 2 needs to communicate with Workstation 1, it will query a WINS server to resolve the Workstation's name to an IP address. The main advantage of having a WINS server on the network is to reduce the number of broadcast packets on the network. Rather than flooding the network with broadcast packets, WINS clients will query their WINS servers for name to IP mappings. In addition to registering their NetBIOS names and IP addresses, WINS clients will also register services that are located on their systems. This way, applications running on different clients can also query WIND servers to locate services on the network. In a pre-Windows 2000 environment, such as an NT4 domain, WINS is required because NetBIOS name resolution is the primary method to resolving names to IP addresses. For Windows 2000 and later, DNS is the primary name resolution method. Unless you have pre-Windows 2000 clients or applications that require NetBIOS name resolution, there's no need to deploy WINS servers on the network. Even some recent Microsoft applications still heavily dependent on WINS, such as Exchange 2000, Exchange 2003, and SMS 2003. Let's go ahead and go through the installation of WINS. For this example, I'll be using a Windows 2008 R2 server. We'll start the process by opening up Server Manager. Once Server Manager is open, we'll go ahead and add a feature. WINS is not a role. Click on Add Features, scroll down to the bottom, Select Win Server, click Next, and Install. Once the installation has completed, go ahead and click Close. Go ahead and close Server Manager. Let's go ahead and launch the Wins Administrative Console. Start, Administrative Tools, Wins. When you first install Wins, there are no records in the database. We can take a look at the active records by expanding the server object. Click on Active Registrations. Click on Display Records. Find Now. As you see, there are no items to show in this view. Let's go ahead and configure an XP client to point to this WIND server. For most of your clients on the network, you'll configure their WIND settings through their DHCP IP leases. In this example, we'll just go ahead and assign that information statically. I'll open up the Network Connections, Properties, TCP IP, Properties, Advanced tab, WINS tab. In this case, the WIND server on my network is 192.168.100.254. Click OK, OK close, close. Let's go to open, open a command prompt so we can force the registration of the WINS records. I'll issue an mbt stat command. mbt stat dash capital R capital R. We can now go back to the WINS database and take a look and see if the records have actually been registered. So let's go ahead and refresh the database. I'll right click active registration, display records. I'll say find now and click on active registrations. As you can see now this workstation has registered a few records with the WIND server. Other clients on the local area network can now query this WIND server to resolve the NetBIOS name for this computer as well as different services running on this workstation. As we mentioned earlier, it's common to have more than one WIND server on the network. If you have more than one WIND server, you would set up the replication between WIND servers by clicking on Replication Partners. To set up replication, right-click Replication Partners and say New Replication Partner. Simply type in the IP address of the other WIND server that you'll be replicating with and click OK. Your replication partner will show up in the replication partner's window. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the more advanced features that we can configure in the console. Let's start by right clicking the server object, properties. On the general tab, we can specify how often to update statistics on the server. We can also specify a default database path and back up the database during the server shutdown. The intervals tab sets the rate at which records are renewed, deleted, and verified on the server. Database verification allows us to compare this database with other databases on other WINS servers. We can specify how often that occurs and at what time. The Events tab lets us configure some information regarding event handling. In addition, on larger environments, we can enable burst handling 
to control the amount of registrations that come into the Win server. If we right click active registrations, aside from displaying records, we can also create static mappings. A static mapping is a manually created NetBIOS name to IP mapping. If we right click replication partners, we can force replication. We can also access some additional properties. For instance, we can configure wins to only replicate with partners that have been configured. We can control push and pull replication schedules. In addition, on the advanced tab, we can create a, either a whitelist or a blacklist so that we can configure which other win servers this win server will accept records from. So in summary, while Windows 2008 still supports the installation of wins, wins should only be installed in situations where you have pre-Windows 2000 clients or applications on the network that require and depend on NetBIOS name resolution. That's the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching.